Okay, so I'm back out to work. And I know it has been a hot minute since I do any kind of vlogging or recording or anything. Anyways, long story short, try and bring it as small as I can. My mother is still hospitalized. Um, timeline for her hospitalization <laughs> is that she was warded at the beginning of January, right? She came home. Yeah. She came home for a week in February. And when she went back for her checkup in February, they decided to keep her. We are now in March. Today is March 18th, Monday, March 18th. She's still there. Alright. I was hoping that she come out by now, but she's still there. Alright. They don't know. They do not have a medical diagnosis for her at this time. What they are doing right now is they're giving her antibiotics and they're giving her some lacto something. I can't remember the name, I'll put it on the screen because they want her body to detox whatever toxins or whatever because your liver is supposed to do these things. Right now, the liver not functioning like it's supposed to, so they want to give her the laxative thing to try and detox her body for her liver, seeing that the liver not the way it's supposed to. Do. Right, the spleen is also not doing what it's supposed to do, and what they're saying is that the spleen, like it's supposed to send signals to the liver to do what it's supposed to do, some, something like that, and that's not going on. Right, they do not know what is the cause. They check for STDs, they check for AIDS, they check for herpes, um, something else they check for, kind of, but they check for leukemia, they check the bone marrows the bone marrow to see if it have any other kind of cancer they thought it would have been um lymphoma all of these things came back negative right um so they do the antibiotics and they do the laxative thingy what i will say though her eyes looking much better because it was looking like kind of yellow green now you're just looking yellow but not yellow green like it was looking before she's a lot more responsive now than she was a couple of weeks prior right so that is a good thing thank god for that so the pooping and the detoxing of the body helping for the time being the downfall to that is that um the nursing staff and thing in China are under staff. We under staff in the public health system, right? So, because of that, we make a deal with the nurses and the doctors and them that for the family members to come in outside of the visits and hours to try and help with that because with how her liver and the spleen not doing what it's supposed to do, one of the side effects is that her blood is not producing like how it's supposed to. And if your blood not working, with your blood, white blood cells and all that, I mean your immune system compromise. So, see that she needs to poop, she also needs to be clean and because the place is under staff, somebody needs to clean up. And this morning, honestly, I was planning to get up like 6 o'clock to go, but we got a message after 5 where she says she in a mess and the, the person who they're taking up cannot move her because she need help right so i get my ass up i ain't even made most of the words brush my teeth get my ass up brush my teeth make some tea and i went in the hospital um but i ended up and i was just no problem right and like i said that's part of the deal so i think going earlier might be the better thing for her because then it will alleviate the night staff to the morning staff whatever anyways it can help with the interim in between clean so she wouldn't be in her field for too long because she can't be in her field too long anyways apart from that the school is annoying me okay here yeah, by the school annoying me only had christmas break okay only had christmas break y'all had christmas break where you could do what you need to do but all they decided that when school opened in january that all they want to do some construction work with, with some do thing or whatever next to the school but not next to the school in the same school compound but it's like the school shape like an l so like on the l shape the l side whatever anyways long story short all that dust is affecting sharing in the school not much children home because of the flu or flu like symptoms and i decided to do this dust work 
during the school period make it make sense make it make sense anyway today is March 18th Easter vacation is coming up they finish through the test I will keep them home as long as I am home right as long as I'm home I'll keep them home if I'm not home once could be home they'll stay home that done could be car can't afford to, for them to be getting sick on top of mommy being sick but then I had to go and check mommy so I can't get sick to carry no sickness for her understand the whole dynamics anyways so apart from that um as long as I can know you need a little brain cooler you need to relax blah 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 let you do a little game night and invite our friends over now most of our friends is couples right our friend from primary school named Miguel she's a couple her boyfriend good friends with my husband too you know so I'm my husband friends um who he make from dealing with dogs and whatnot couples right I have and we have one more friend who we meet from this school because her son is the same class as our son she's also a good friend but she don't have a significant other so as time I went you know what you can't know you don't have nobody Better invite one of your friends. I'm one of your friends she was talking about. Uh, not calling her name, but I'll use a code name so I'll call her Toothpick, right? So, you say, well, I was like, well, you know, you always talk about Toothpick. Toothpick is a good friend, whatever, whatever. Invite Toothpick. Toothpick never come here, right? So, Toothpick come. I went not Toothpick come. I went and pick up Toothpick and the game, right? So, my friend, I want to protect people's name. We shall call her Pinky. So I invited Pinky. Pinky invited Toothpick, right? So when my Pinky house and pick up Pinky and Toothpick, bring them here. Now Pinky always coming here, so she accustomed with the dog something. Toothpick, however, not accustomed to the dog. So when they come, when I pick them up, stop in front of the house. I remember we live in upstairs and upstairs. Stop in front of the house, right? Stop by the gate. I came out of the car, went by the gate, and I called my husband. God tell him. To pick here and you know she not for something dogs sort of the dogs because people that's be afraid of our dogs they look intimidating even though they're teddy bears but they look intimidating right but to pick and binky was still by the car so i buy the gate waiting for them right husband sort of the dogs then eventually to pick and pinky came by the gate and all of us went upstairs when we reach upstairs i am by the kitchen to check to see where i had it right and then i went to the back but you know i like to smell myself and i like to smell myself i don't have enough perfume went to the back bed by the bedroom found some more perfume when i came back outside right toothpick was sitting on by the table and pinky stand up and she come on towards me and she's saying toothpick think she leave her phone in the car because she not seen her phone in her back so then toothpick and pinky was looking to go downstairs and my husband went downstairs with him he was playing music on bluetooth with his phone so he take off his phone from the bluetooth and went downstairs with his phone to call toothpick phone right so toothpick pinky and my husband downstairs right so my husband tell me before he went that he taking off his phone from the bluetooth so he calling to call toothpick phone so for me to put my phone and put it now me i was going to do it but then i get lost in tiktok right <laughs> so i was on tiktok you know with music playing however so my husband hit and he was like hey daddy phone up there i said no by my phone i on tiktok he said all right so they continue looking for the phone they didn't see the phone mind you while toothpick pinky and myself was downstairs we did not hear any phone fall so i still tell them i saw a check under the car and see if it fall long or something they didn't hear no phone fall so come back upstairs looking because she look upstairs she and pinky to pick and pinky was looking upstairs with the phone before they went downstairs they went downstairs they didn't say anything they come back upstairs and they looked they still didn't say anything so i was like what kind of sour vibes is that boy and then pinky started feeling real bad because she's like i invited to pick here for the first time and she lost she phone I say yeah that real sour vibes that real sour vibes but I know it's not her fault it's nobody's fault you lost your phone we are not living in the best area this is a ghetto zone okay so if you leave certain valuables in the open the person who think they should own it will come and collect it right so what I think happened this is just my educated guess I think when put toothpick and pinky came out of the car 
they was fixing the clothes because when you was in the car toothpick was on she phone scrolling through whoever and pinky was in the front seat right when they came out of the car they came out on the left side they came out on the driver side which is the right side they came out on the left side and they were standing there so i assume i could be wrong i assume to pick put her phone on top of the car because nobody heard any car any phone fall i think she put her phone on top of the car and was fixing her clothes and then when i said oh come on because they probably um could be probably the dogs i think she leave the phone on top of the car i had fellas i mean in the road they have people walking up and down in the road so i think when she left and we all leave because i not think it's a turn on and be like hey to pick the phone because i ain't really see it i was done um, you know going upstairs i ain't looking to say hey, don't forget your phone because me ain't thinking that right i think she leave the phone there and somebody passed and was like christmas today boy and pick up the phone and go out so rightfully so toothpick had a storm she was in a storm mood she was um she didn't want to come upstairs she come upstairs she drank some white dog she went back downstairs um they had some fellas in the road she was lying over them she started to smoke with them i don't know what was the conversation with she and them because i know she don't know them because she's not from here and they don't know her so i don't know if she probably was asking them what was going on but pinky relate to me is that she was asking them if they see anything and they say they ain't see nothing because you know we're not living in the social area we're living in the ghetto and if it's not related to you you ain't see nothing right so eventually after to pick down she smoke and whatever she come upstairs she seemed to be in a good mood but pinky now not in a good mood pinky feeling sick pinky pressure going up all right pinky pressure going up so high that till she saw the sea blurry right so i try not to take it on i try to lighten up the moon i like yeah like play with game and like whatever, whatever. and she and pinky like nah 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 i good i good i good but to pick now having a time drinking the white talk and whatnot laughing loud cussing whatever i i, I learned she be she because i know you lost the phone and you're not so mood so i i learned it's like right and then she make a comment and she watch pinky and she's like what you use my friend nagy what you use my good friend you feeling sick because i lost my phone so i like i said to myself why would you why would you but then again you know they're not my friends and i'm not bother no they're not my friend i'm not bother with it come in like that that kind of comment right and then toothpick now she watched me and she like well i lost my phone and i ain't working so what we gonna do i said girl i don't know what you will do but i really saw you lost your phone and she watched me kind of and she like okay and then she go back drinking as you finish the whole bottle of white talk and no small bottle that the big one almost finished the whole bottle of white talk which i did not mind because i know in a soft or smooth you lost your phone in your right to be in a soft mood you're all within your hands so then the next thing you know, when i go to work i think in everything all hunky dory really need it me no going on it so when i come on my husband like you know pinky called me and tell me how to pick think we take she phone i was like what why would you why would we take her phone i don't understand but anyway she thinking we take her phone because when it is she tried to send the email which is a google email on our computer she wasn't getting it because it had a two-factor authentication right now what i was trying to explain to toothpick on that same night when it is we are trying to do that is that because it never sang in our on our computer you will need a two-factor authentication to sign in your google because that is the security factor on google i can't bypass that i know i know i'm um, tech with the bypass them kind of thing right so anyways she's saying now because she didn't get a sign in uh, we set it up so she wouldn't get a sign in to know that she phoned him so I'm like what and oh she going and go in the police station and make a report and tell them we take she food so i was like well i should go in the police station because at the end of the day you lost your phone yeah, i think it was stolen i think you leave it and you can't somebody take it up and i say and i tell her i tell i call pinky i say well tell her to go to the police station and make a report because your phone already was stolen or whatever you need to make a report at the end of the day 
And then she's like, well, she said she ID in it. I said, no, sir, she had to make a report. Because if you ID in there, you need to make a report to get back a new ID. Right? And she's like, well, she, she said she want money for the phone. I said, she want money? Yeah, she want money from only for taking the phone. I said, money from who? She said, well, she thinks she want money from only to pick one money from only because she thinks only takes your phone. Or she want back your phone. So I like thinking, I'm going to play back. Right. So I like thinking, I know that is your friend, however, but if to pick think we stole her phone, she is within all of her rights to go to the police station and report same. However, when it is they realize that we do not have a phone, or if it is police come in my house and ramsack my house and mash up my things looking for a phone that is not here, it has consequences to that. However, she it is within her rights to go to the police station and make a report. And the police and them are supposed to have more technology or whatever to find a phone. So let her do that. And Pinky there busting she brain. She like, well, I, I was thinking about getting she money. And I said, why are you doing that? Why are you frustrating yourself? I said, girl, I'm not vexed at you that toothpick saying that and toothpick not supposed to be pressuring you like this because it is nobody's fault her phone was stolen right matter of fact if you want to blame anybody she's the one to be blamed because you're supposed to be responsible when you come with the car with my phone as soon as i step somewhere with my phone it's your phone you're a big woman you're supposed to be responsible for that <sighs> but she wanted trying to tell me but she ain't call me directly yeah, because i don't know and she probably don't have my number or she probably not really missed her that i was calling to find your phone either i was calling somebody else to see if they could sign in the find my phone app to locate the phone while here in i but the mister didn't answer the phone but anyways i tell her i said listen if she wants to make a report she is within her rights to do so let her continue and do what she needs to do let her please her mind and then now the same day when I come home from work, Pinky was saying that she messaged the phone and she see two tick. So the mouse was like, next thing the phone, not even missing. Next thing she had the phone in her China, say we take the phone. I said, you know what? The kind of character to pick turned out to be, I really don't doubt it. I really do not doubt it. But I tell Pinky, I said, see, not to see the two tick. Message one as she missed her friend and them. And let them know you message her phone and you see the two the two, the two tech thing meaning the data on so if they could sign in for the find my phone app they will get an updated location as to where it is she said okay she message you person the person like you want to pull small that you know i said lord have mercy what kind of characters are, ooh, what kind of characters is i say no one hmm, the suit pick is no longer welcome here no 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 i understand yourself post vibes and whatever whatever you come here and you lost your phone whatever even if you did if you did lost your phone i don't know because at this point i think in your hand folly right but you see the accuser me a thief in your phone i done not really in a good mood right now because i was going on my mother i really not in a good mood right now and i disdain i hate being accused of doing something I never do. If I do something, let me do it that I earn it, right? Like if I say I cost you, let me really cost you stink and dirty. Don't say I do something I never do. And I see Tiffin is something I do ever do. I do not touch people thing. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. I don't touch people thing and I don't like people touch my thing. I do not like it. So you see that shit you need to watch what you do. Many is I'll update you all on that as time passed because this is now happening fresh real fresh but i'll update all but i tell pinky at the end of the day in my opinion to pick is not your friend because if i know you suffer with high blood pressure or whatever i would not watch you and be glad that you feeling sick because i lost my phone a phone a phone i watching you and happy you sick i lost my phone look at your friend is that let me know if that let me know let me know if i if i go crazy with that i find my real shop then i have no friend to have with friends like that who need enemies you physically sick because you feel so upset that she lost her phone and she was so sad and she watched you and said she glad 
you feel and so so that girl that took take is no longer welcome here mm -mm. Nah, -uh. anyways they turn this stolen phone situation um pinky got back to me and she said that um toothpick went in position and make a report and she's she, toothpick tell her that the police say um just go back by the house and ask them if they have it some not i don't know so, something really not I, some not I don't know. anyways um what pinky saying is that to pick is the kind of person if it is she can get one way she might try to get the next way so hopefully nothing happens because i am not a fighter okay i don't fight it's not me i really am not a fighter okay anyways bye